Hello everyone, uh, my name is Richard Turner and this is my first YouTube channel video of my new railway layout which is 00 gauge Little Henham. The layout is 18 feet by 12 and is based on East Anglia in the 1950s early 1960s covering both the steam and the period when the diesels were just being introduced. Most of the locos on the layout have East Anglian numbers on them and are all based at East Anglian sheds like Stratford, Cambridge, March, Bishop Stalford, etc. I'm hoping this is going to be the first of a few videos I'm going to put on YouTube showing the layout as it grows and develops. As you will see, there are areas of the layout that still need to be developed and a lot of the buildings um, have still to be finished. The buildings are a mixture of ready-made by Backman and Hornby and others are actually scratch-built, taken from photographs of real locations around East Anglia. For instance, the church you see at the back there um, is a model of St Mary's Church in Kelverdon, Essex, but I'll show you more of that in a minute. The layout basically consists of a double line main line, a branch line and a depot area. The branch line runs on a shuttle um, so you can leave that running all day and the depot area can be worked independently to the two main lines. Here you can see the two main lines branching off to the left with the branch line on the right which runs underneath the town scene. along the back of the layout and ends up in the far corner that you see at a little country station again I'll show you that in a second okay this is my branch line station it's called Castle Acre um, and elements of this station are based on what used to be at both Tollsbury and Tiptree. This is my police station. Again, this building is based on various different buildings around East Anglia that I saw, and I believe there was one like this that used to stand near Housted. It may still be there, but again, taken from a photograph, slightly adapted to fit into the area that it now occupies. It's still have, um, got to have the front of the police station finished. As you can see, there is going to be a road that will go in here. I haven't quite got to that point yet. But um, in a future video, you'll see this area slowly develop and be finished. The vehicles on the layout are all period vehicles. And then where possible, I'm putting the appropriate registration plates on as well. On the mound where the traction engines are at the moment, eventually there will be a castle based on probably Headingham um, or possibly Hadley. And hopefully that will just finish off that corner. Here's a location that some of you might recognise. This is Hadley Bus Garage. Um, how it used to look. It's changed slightly now if you was to go and see it but growing up in the 1970s early 80s I used to stand here and watch the Bristol FLFs come in and out all day um, and I've tried to represent of what the garage used to look like in those days 
Again, this garage is still to be finished with a bus stop outside that stands at Victoria House Corner. And um, there are some buses in the backyard, many more to be put into there. All the buses are Eastern National, and again, they carry the correct registration plates. This is my country scene area and the cottage you see before you is based on an example that I saw near Long Melford in Suffolk. Um, I took some photos and again have tried to create what I saw. This little area is almost complete. There's a couple other features to put in, i.e. the chickens in the chicken coop on the left hand side. Um, and there's a couple of bits in the garden that I'm going to put in. But, um, yeah, this, this little one is nearing completion. Here we have a little country road that leads off around the back of the cottage leading up from the town scene and we have a little stable yard there. This is the entrance to what will be the steam locomotive depot. Um, I've really only started to really work on this area in recent weeks so again it is still being developed. The depot area will be based on um, a typical East Anglian depot and the water tower you see in front of you, that's an example that used to be at Haverhill. Um, all that is is a Hornby standard water tower that I've reclad in plastic card, flipped the tank over so it's open topped and then painted it in the appropriate colours. As you can see the track is slowly being weathered um, and I'm using real ash and coal to do the infill. Again, this is an ongoing project and um, hopefully all the buildings will be weathered as will the locos and coaching stock. The main steam shed will be next to the diesel depot as you see it here to the, to the left. Um, again, in a future video you will see that being developed. Hopefully when it's done um, it look it look pretty good. Here we are looking towards what will be the mainline station. Um, there's a standard Hornby station there at the moment. This will be taken out and I will scratch build a typical looking Great Eastern Railway station to put in its place. Here you can see one of my locos which is a class J39. Very typical and um, used profusely during the steam period in East Anglia. In a moment we'll run a few trains and you can see the layout in action. This station, once it's done, will be based on Kelverdon in Essex. This will be the downside waiting room for Kelverdon. Again, it's being done from photographs. It's not quite finished. There's a canopy to go above the door. Um, I've put the steps in there, as you can see, but the, the canopy is yet to be put in.